stay there for a month, I didn't say shit. And I also find that weird because, Mo, if you always thought she was weird, what was you in the house at time were? And the, the shit that the shit that gets to me is how y'all got all this shit to say now, but y'all been in my face all this fucking time, which lets me know that y'all been sitting around talking shit about me while y'all been sitting up spending my motherfucking money, wanting me to come out there and kick it with y'all. Mm. So look, I was coming all the way down there to Texas for motherfuckers to sit up in my motherfucking shit. Uh oh. And I still ain't stepping on your motherfucking name. Right. And it's so much shit. I bet. Tell it, girl. Get it off your chest. So what are you saying? Tell it. Like, people gotta be for real. You always try to do some shit, and then you wanna play victim, and you wanna get the hooper and then holler at All that screaming. You do the same shit all the time. If anybody would really pay attention. Right. Uh-oh. She did that before? Monique Long, you right on the money. And they just reading through the live. I'm saying she was lying on my mother when I said what I had to say. And she's a grown woman, and y'all keep talking about kids, this, that, and the other. So it, it like, I, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, it ain't. Where was all this when Mimi was saying all of what she had to say? I ain't make a threat. I just it said if a conversation never. wanted to be had, it could be had. It ain't never. Y'all didn't have to say anything. Well, I couldn't pay my fucking rent. Oh. I ain't never gonna stay with no motherfucking body. Mm -mm. I don't need to. Mm -mm. I don't need to. Right. And it all this shit, it all this shit ain't went live and said shit about nothing, no money behind. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Woo! Mm, that's about as much as I can do on that. Girl, I was just, listen, Mo, the subscribers asked me to react to Auntie Lex. Okay? Because I didn't even know what was going on. But people, I saw in y'all comment section, people have been asking y'all for a, quite a few weeks or months, where's Auntie Lex? Where's Auntie Lex? Where's Auntie Lex? And, you know, nobody responded. And I really didn't even know who Lex was because at the time that Lex came around, I think I started watching you after that. So I might have saw her a few times at the house. I didn't, I didn't know who she was. And so when people were asking about her, I didn't really kind of know who they were talking about. But from what I understand, y'all have had different groups of people who have lived with y'all, fell out with Mimi, and then they get, you know, they leave and then they tell their story. They live to tell their story, surviving Mimi. So most of y'all know, if I say anything that's not right, correct me. I'm going to probably leave like... A little bit of what they were saying, you know, like the talk from Lex gave a um, gave a live defending herself because apparently Mimi is manic again, allegedly, and so she wants to start bringing up old stuff about Lex and talking about this, that, and the third, and so that triggered Lex to come and talk about her situation. So, okay, here it is, y'all. So what had happened was, from what I can understand, what I understand, Lex moved to Texas because Mimi and Mo said, "Girl, you need to come to Texas. You can make money on YouTube. We're gonna help you get you this YouTube money." Blah blah blah. And Mimi had said, according to Lex and her son, Mimi will put herself in the forefront and said, "Well, I'm gonna get you an apartment, set you up with somebody I know." Blah, blah, blah. So when Lex got to Texas, the apartment and none of that was in her name. So then, y'all, that's when the CPN scan situation started. Now, somebody had left in my comment section when I initially did a video on Mo that Mo and Mimi were scammers, that they was involved in some apartment scamming. I didn't say it. It's alleged somebody left that in my comment section. I never said anything, I never 
really thought about it, did it about it. Because I know plenty of people who are looking for apartments and they and you know the way these landlords want your perfect want perfect credit and a lot of people don't have it or they don't make the money that they need to make. You might get some fraudulent bank stubs or have somebody fake act like they was your last landlord. I get it. I ain't from the ghetto, but I know the ghetto. I know it. So I get that. But honey, let me tell you something. This CPN scan situation that allegedly people got going on. Mimi and Mo. Honey, allegedly. <clears throat> which makes sense how you can skip from apartment to mansion back to an apartment to a townhouse if you got this fake ass CPN number. Now, I looked up CPN because like I told you, I ain't no scammer. So a, P a CPN is definitely e illegal. Let me put that up for you right. Boop. It's illegal. And it's basically, what does it mean? I wrote it down. CPN. Credit profile number. It's not the replacement of a social security number, but and however people use it to scam. I don't know nothing about it. I don't know nothing about it. And, and Lex didn't either. She ain't know she was a part of it, allegedly, according to her. She didn't know she was even part of this, but she ended up being, because her name was not on the lease. Child was somebody else. Let me see now. Some in my research, it also says that the CPN scam also uses dead people's information. Using dead people's information. So I gave y'all a little bit of what um, Lex had talked about. It was another point in there that she had had said something, and I wanted to react to it. All right, so Mimi been manic and going live. Now, I went over to Mimi has a new uh, page name, child. I ain't even going to say it. Anyway, so Mimi been going live back to back, crying, snot, and you know, the, you know what Mimi do. She, when she see this, she might do it again, but on me this time. Hey, girl, hey. So Mimi, she privated the live, so you can't even watch it. I tried. But Mimi over there, I did this for you, and I did that for you, and I will jump a do, and did that cock a do. Lex, like, girl, you ain't, you stayed at my house when you ain't have nowhere to go. But you know what's something good? Like, I respect the fact that Lex never came out and said none of this. This happened back in April of 2022. She could have. Ben said something. And let's also be clear, Lex is not blood related to Mimi. She cleared that up today. Mimi, it's a rabbit hole. You got to go on Nexus Live to figure out how they not related, but they're not. And But Lex looked out for her and the kids when they needed a place to go, allegedly, according to Lex and her son. And so, and then when Mimi... Came, Girl, I can't even get into uh, y'all. I can't even y'all know y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the story on that whole they broke up, didn't break up, all that. <sighs> Mo, you've been able to build yourself a nice little life off of YouTube. You really have, and honestly, this drama it, it helps it. It helps, and it it could help it. It could hurt it, but and forever, but and however. Scamming and using CPNs and other people's addresses and names and socials, girl, you gon you can get locked up. That's federal. It ain't like the times when you know people can go in Walmart and steal some. And that no 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 no. That's that's just a criminal case. That's a misdemeanor. When you start messing with somebody's social security numbers and 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 and, and, and fraud on a, a, a document, your ass is going to jail. Your ass is going to jail. Your ass is going to jail. Now, Lex know more than what she telling us. 
She know more than what she telling us, but she's being respectful. Look at you, Lex. I got you on the full screen, girl. Look. She got, she's being respectful to you. She is being respectful, and she's not telling all y'all secrets. Mimi, calm yourself down before this one, Lex, start telling us all the secrets. Everything that happened when you was living at her house. Anyway, I want to thank the subscribers for um, let me know what was going on, girl, because I didn't know. Let me know what's going on so I can react to this drama. I thank you and keep me posted. Lex, keep your head up. It's eating you. Psychology Eats is here to help you. What's eating you? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.